you know, I don't think you realize until you really have a problem how nice it is to not have it. You know, it's just, it's amazing. It makes such a difference in your life. I mean, my kids noticed, my grandkids noticed. It's, it just really, everything was easier. I knew that I had a tremor as a kid. I didn't know that that's what it was called or that it was like something terribly unusual. I just knew it was something I had. Kids kind of made fun of me when I would unwrap my sandwich in the lunchroom because the wax paper would crinkle. And 25 years ago, my handwriting really started to slowly deteriorate and people would mention it to me. If I really tried hard, I could control it better, but that was probably the beginning of it being a real tremor. The central tremor is one of the most common movement disorders in America. It is a condition characterized by uncontrollable movements when trying to perform tasks. So for example, if you're trying to write you would shake, or if you're trying to brush your teeth, you would shake. So you could see how that could be very disrupting to somebody trying to you know, live their daily life. Well, I'll tell you, uh, I was after the procedure, I was hungry. And so I went out to lunch with my son and um, I had ordered a grilled cheese sandwich. I didn't realize it came with a cup of soup. So there was this cup of soup, and I, I reached for it with two hands. And my son said, Mom, pick it up with your good hand. And so, and I did. I was like, oh my God, I, you know, I don't have this. And then I did a spoon thing, and, the, and it didn't shake. Marsha is a good friend of mine who lives down the street and um, also had a central tremor. We were introduced by a mutual friend. Since then, we've become really good friends, so we walk together frequently. And um, we've spent a lot of time talking about the process with the medications, you know, progressing to, she did the ultrasound, I did the DBS, and um, what kinds of symptoms we were having. Liz and I would walk and we would just laugh about the, the things that we couldn't do that we, you know, tossing food all over the place and then trying to bake a cake and what have you. And, you know, it's nice to have somebody that uh, I could buddy with and we can laugh about this. We have two procedures that treat tremor. We have deep brain stimulation and focused ultrasound. Both of these procedures aim to target a very small area in the brain that's effectively overactive in people with tremor. Deep brain stimulation or DBS this is a traditional surgery in which we have to make an incision. We drill a small hole in the skull and put a wire into the brain. The tip of the wire will rest in that overactive area of the brain and then the wire will run underneath the skin of the scalp, neck, and chest and be connected to a battery pack akin to a pacemaker. This battery pack will then send electrical stimulation up the wire down into the brain and at the tip of the wire the electricity will come out to effectively scramble or jam up those overactive signals, therefore reducing tremor. Another method of treating tremor is through focused ultrasound. Focused ultrasound, as the name implies, uses focused ultrasound beams to effectively burn that small overactive area of the brain that is responsible for tremors. I think when patients are deciding which procedure might be best for them, it really benefits them to hear both sides of each procedure. This is something that patients can only find at Swedish because we're the only institution in Washington to offer focused ultrasound. I thought the team at, uh, at Swedish was fantastic. I mean, I got a wonderful evaluation from Dr. Komani. Uh, Dr. Wong spent a fair amount of time explaining things to me I use my chart, so I would, you know, send them questions, and, and we did videos and what have you, so I thought they were incredibly responsive. I have never been consistently met with healthcare where people were so willing to spend the time with you that you need. I mean, that to me is, 
really a gift. It was absolutely immediate that, and how many, how many surgeries does somebody have where you have immediate results? I just thought this was uh, very fulfilling for me and probably very fulfilling for the doctor too. As soon as um, I had it turned on, we went and bought some postcards and I sent them to my friends and said, I can write. Which almost makes me cry. Having this has uh, definitely made my life better because I can use my hand like a normal person. I would recommend it to anybody. I really would.